We're joined today by K2 Fly Limited, ASX code K2F, market cap of $30 million. K2 Fly is a leading provider of resource governance software solutions in ESG and sustainability operations and disclosures. We're joined today by Nick Pollock, CEO of K2 Fly. Nick, welcome to the network. Thanks for having me. Nick, for new investors, can you give us a bit of an introduction on K2F? Um, K2 Fly is a um, ASX listed software business. We're in the enterprise software business. Um, our, our focus is predominantly uh, the mining and resources space, albeit not limited to. Mm -hmm. So we deliver solutions in what we characterise as resource governance. Mm -hmm. and, and under resource governance, we have nine different solutions that we provide across resource disclosure, tailings management and, and, and governance, heritage, land ground disturbance, um, rehab, et cetera, et cetera. So what that means for the client is we're helping them operationalise their ESG operations or replacing operational systems um, that are ESG ready for reporting and disclosure, which is going to become much more important as we go forward. The, um, not just the reporting, but the, the, the provenance of the data and making sure that it's, it's fit for disclosure, if you like, mm -hmm. and protecting their social licence to operate and also any sort of uh, overtones of greenwashing. Could you give us an update on K2 Fly's progress over the last 12 months? Yeah, sure. So as a software as a service business, um, the, the key metrics that we focus on are annual recurring revenue and total contract value. So our annual recurring revenue grew 76% uh, last year to $6.6 .6 million, uh, 6.5 now and after Q1. Um, and our total contract value grew 80% uh, last year. That's currently sitting at around $19 million. Um, so that you know, reinforces not just the ARR, which is great, but also the, um, the long-term nature of the businesses that we operate and the stickiness of the software. The other thing we're really proud of is the net retention rate, which sits at 126% at the end of uh, 22. Uh, the best performers in the industry are, at, are just north of 130%, so we're right up there in that top, top space. What that means for an investor is that even if we don't sign another client in a year's time, which is unlikely, and <laughs> we continue to do so, we'll generate 26% of revenue out of our customer base. So that's fundamental to our land and expand strategy in our, in our global customer base. And so which milestones have been the highlight over the last year? A couple of things. So the business is truly international now. So 60% um, of our revenue is out of Australia but 20% is coming out of the Americas, which is a real growth area for us, and 20% out of Europe, Middle East and Africa. So we've, we've broken the shackles of being an Aussie, just an Aussie mining software business. We, we're truly global. Um, so we're really proud of that. Um, this year, uh, in the last 12 months, our, our natural resource governance um, solutions have really taken off in a big way. So we talk about resource governance, we break it into two areas, mineral resource governance, which is very strong for us, and natural resource governance, which is in around the land that you, that you, that you manage. Um, and so this year we have signed up um, both uh, well, Rio Tinto for um, uh, heritage and ground disturbance uh, post the incident that happened in the Pilbara. So that's a really good endorsement of us. We have signed up BHP. Uh, in this, in, for a similar solution in, in that region. And then recently we announced Imerus, which is a truly global rollout of the same solution. Uh, ultimately, they're a business, a Paris-based industrial minerals companies with over 200 sites. From an, another thing from an investor's perspective is that we brought on a strategic investor um, uh, from MapTech, which is the world's biggest private mining software business. So a tremendous validation of what we're doing. MapTech realise that what we're doing is really important and they also realise that it takes a while to get to where you, we are. Um, so they, they, they're, they're leveraging our position um, to, so that they have a, a exposure to the, e, the growing ESG space. Nick, could you touch on some of your clients? Certainly. Um, so. Um, our clients are uh, a great definition of, of the importance and value of KV Fly. So we operate in the top, at the moment, the top 50 mining companies in the world. Uh, our clients include Rio Tinto, BHP, Glencore, Newmont, you know, so the biggest producers in the world. 
Rio Tinto uh, is our biggest customer. Um, started with one, now they've got five solutions in play. So that, that and, and that's not across all of the business. So, so people need to understand that when, when we make an announcement about, you know, say BHP a few months ago, that was just BHP for ground disturbance in the Pilgrim. So there's a lot more uh, opportunity for us to be able to grow into those accounts and a, a multi-year platform of work and pipeline of work for us to, to do. And what else should we be looking for from KT Fly in the next six to 12 months? Uh, well, continued growth, which is, which is a, a really fundamental part of our business. As I said, you know, the ARR and TCV growth is, is key to our metrics. Um, what's really exciting uh, this quarter, is, and we announced this uh, a few weeks back, is the release of our new resource governance platform. Um, so that really changes the game for us and our clients uh, in, in, in order for us to be able to scale the business even faster than we have. So um, on the back of the success of the resource disclosure solution we have, which most of our clients use, and that's our, often our entry point, we rebuilt the whole platform um, from a, in a cloud first way um, to, um, to, to, to make that more scalable, and, but also to leverage the, the implementation that those customers have across multiple use cases in resource governance. So going from sort of a single solution, we can roll them into these other governance and disclosure areas across all of these ESG issues and leverage the same platform. So that's great for them. It's also great for us in terms of quicker, faster to implement um, and also to, to, to manage and support. So that's, watch your space. There's a lot going to happen in that, in that area. Sounds fascinating. Nick, thank you for your time. My pleasure. Thanks very much for having me.